Okay, so I have my, my leg more or less built. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero out the rotation for all three of these objects, and that'll stand this object back up in its default position. Um, so if I select the upper leg, now before I do this, I want to make sure that I'm actually in the model mode of the tool, otherwise I'll just be rotating the axis when I do this. And rather than using the rotation uh, icon here, I'm going to select the object, I'm going to go down here to the coordinates manager, and I'm just going to zero out the rotation value. I want all my rotation values to show up as zero. So I have a heading rotation at zero already. I have a pitch rotation, which is negative 34. So I'm just going to zero out that value and hit apply. I'm going to go to the lower leg and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to zero out any rotation values and the same thing with the foot. I'll zero out that value. Now I'm going to save what I'm working on and then I'm going to do a file save incremental. And uh, now I'm going to focus on uh, the next part of the body. And uh, I'm really going to focus on, on building uh, this object pretty quickly. Uh, and I'll pay spe spe uh, special attention to the object hierarchy and uh, building this rig. And so um, as I build this, I want a little bit of reference. And uh, so I'm just going to start by creating a few cubes. Now, my goal here is that I'm going to build uh, the torso in two parts. I'm going to have something that's kind of like a... Uh, a waist or hips. Okay, so I'm just kind of, I'll just be whipping the mouse around here a little bit, and I'm just eyeballing this. Okay, so uh, I think I'll flatten this out a little bit. Okay, now, and, and I could go back and, and, and tweak this. I'm not going to over design it, uh, but the idea is I do want a set of hips, okay, or a lower torso. I'm going to take this cube that I've created, I'm going to copy and paste, and I'm going to use this as the upper body, and again, just really to kind of get some, uh, get some proportion here. So I'm not building this exactly to um, uh, the proportion of a person, uh, you know, my, my skill is going to be off a little bit here, we could do some research on, on proper proportions, but I want mine a little bit exaggerated. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking uh, the upper torso and I'm basically just eyeballing um, uh, the length of the upper leg and I'm just trying to make those more or less equivalent. Uh, the hips, I'm, I'm really doing like one third of what the uh, torso is and uh, that gives me just kind of a rough idea where I can start to place the arms. And so I'm going to create another cube and I'll just uh, use more or less the same values that I did for the leg just to get started, but then I'm going to make these a bit smaller. Now, I'm going to move this up. At this point, I'm working completely uh, along the Z axis, and the reason for that is that I eventually want to move my legs over and my arms over, uh, but I really don't want to build these one time. Um, so this will allow me to be very precise, uh, be very symmetrical. And, uh, and, and I'll address this in, in just a second. So let me eyeball some of this stuff. I'm gonna make the arms a little bit more narrow. So, and a little bit shorter. So let's try. So instead of 20 along the X, 200 along the Y, and 15, or excuse me, 20 along the Z, I'm just subtracting you know some some values from that just to rough out the arm it seems a little short so along the y-axis maybe I'll bump this up to like 170 but again uh, we don't want to over design this at this point there will be an opportunity to get back in and build a, a fully functional model uh, for animation but right now I just want to get the uh, uh, the rough to, uh, a rough model to experiment with together so uh, this is going to be my lower arm I'm going to build this the same way that I did the the lower leg, so I have my lower arm. And this time around, I'm gonna make it editable first. I'm gonna grab the axis tool and I'm gonna move that up just a bit. And I'll go back to the axis tool. Now the advantage of doing that is I don't have to do it a second time. So when I Command C to copy and Command V, and I get a copy of the lower arm, I'll just move this up. And I'll change this from upper, or excuse me, lower arm to upper arm. Okay, so I have an upper arm object, I have a lower arm object, I'll just take the lower arm and drop it into the upper arm, and uh, it's important that as we're building these models that you kind of play around with the rig, 
I'll undo that rotation. I'm just rotating to, to check this to make sure it's working the way that I want. And I'll undo. So I'm going to go back to the move tool. And uh, now I could take this arm and just move it over and slide it down and stick it right on the side here. And I realized that my arms are a little long, I think, but that's okay. That'll be fine. So I stuck that on the side. Now, the, the whole reason I'm modeling right now along, I'm keeping everything uh, uh, on the Y axis and I'll undo and get that back in the, on the Y axis is because when I create geometry, if I create another cube and I want to make a quick hand, uh, I know that I can just kind of move this up and, and reorganize this content. So I'm going to take the upper arm and I don't really have to line anything up if I do it this way. Um, sometimes I'll even create uh, a new document temporarily just to model something when I have the scale, uh, just so I'm modeling along the center axis. Now there are some tools in Cinema 4D that, that will allow us to uh, uh, build modeling planes and stuff like that. We're not going to get into that in this class, but um, there are some tools that allow us to do effectively the same thing, but this is just a quick, simple way uh, to save some time. So right now I'm just building a, something that'll act as a simple hand. Give me some visual reference as a hand. And I'll call this hand. That's right about where I want it. So I'll make it editable. I'm going to grab the axis. I'm tapping the S key to zoom in on this. And I'll just roll my mouse wheel back a little bit. And I'll add, I'll move that rotation or that axis up to the point where I want the wrist to bend. Go back to the use model tool. I'll take the hand and make it a child of the lower arm. Okay, so. What I have right now is I have an upper leg and an upper arm, and they have this appropriate relationship, this parent-child relationship, which will allow me to go to rotate. And now I can bend this at the shoulder. I can grab the lower arm. And I can rotate that that way and grab the hand and do the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to undo that and get this back to a neutral position. And I'll use the move tool, uh, and, I'll, and I'll start to... Uh, uh, start to arrange the my legs and my arms so and we'll do that in the next presentation